about you guys, but I'm not loving this right now. There's another one. There's another Renault. So we've got to go and get the ferry across over to Italy, I think, by the look of it. So the way it's going to work is when I get to... Just sit up right. When I get to the destination, I'm going to uh, see what truck dealer is in that town. And provided it's not something we've we've already done recently, then we'll switch to that. So if it happens to be a Majestic, I'll take that. If it's an Iveco or a DAF, I'll take that. Um, even if it's a Volvo, I'd take it. I wouldn't want to take a Scania because we just had a Scania in for like two hours yesterday, so I'd rather not take a Scania. I'd rather it be something else. If you're wondering how it is I'm able to look around so fluently or freely, it's because of Track IR, which is basically a headset that tracks your head movement. If you want to see one, go to naturalpoint.com. They're the makers of the Track IR. Wow, as it feels like this thing... Oh my god! It feels like this Renault's struggling to pull 9 ton load. Sorry pal, but I ain't flipping slowing down for you. Oh you son of a bitch! Look at that! That flipping AI! Look at that Renault truck! He just came round there like of his own rails! Do you see that? Honestly, the Scania can easily outpull this thing. I've got a 9 ton load on the back, and this thing has got a 500 brake engine. And it really isn't loving it. Yeah, Paul driving a Renault, what is the world coming to? Indeed. I'll tell you, one thing, if there's one positive thing to say about the Renault, it's this enormous windshield in front of us, gives us amazing visibility of the world outside. I mean, if you actually look around, the pillars themselves are very thin, which means you get a ridiculous viewing angle. That's just about the only positive thing I could say about this truck. What did you miss? You missed me visiting the Renault dealer and customising a Route 66 paint job. <laughs> That's what you missed. Does the man truck have the same visibility? Does it? It doesn't look as high. I'm having to drop to 10th already. There's no torque in this engine. Did you turn off the resting thing? Yes, I did. What I generally do is the way I like to play it now. I used to do the rest thing, but it generally just gets in the ways of um, videos and streams. So I just turn it off and then make sure I get some rest. But I try to stick in the daylight if I can. Yesterday I got caught out in the stream and had to drive at night. But I like to be able to see the scenery. That's the main thing. But we're getting on a boat which is going to rest us. But unfortunately I think it's going to then chuck it into night time. Which is a bit of a pain. Shit, have you seen how far this job is? 2,600k? You can't be joking. Yes, the observer to mug you will have noticed that there's a Renault logo right on the, on the steering wheel. And they're probably wondering why Paul is driving a Renault truck. At least no one can see how oh, at night no one can see how ugly it is. That's a very good point. <laughs> you can't blow the truck up. If you could, I would do. The game doesn't let you blow it up. You love my arms. They're sexy. You like them. <laughs> you can't blow anything up in this game. That's the real downside of it. There's no kind of collision or crash damage. There's no destructible materials. Which is a real shame, because it would have been awesome if you could do that. Where's the video of your man cave? Um, it's quite an old one. The one I've got is from something like April last year. I can't get into 12. Something like April last year. 
I'm going to do another one in a couple of weeks time, I've got a week off. I actually bought a new camera yesterday. Oh look at this! My foot is flat on the floor. Oh this engine sucks. Oh my god this truck is worse than I imagine. Um, I bought a camera yesterday. A Panasonic one, uh, like a HD camera, but you don't hold it like a traditional camera like that. Can you see my hand? You hold it more like a gun. Uh, which is kind of nice because you can actually hold that position a lot longer. Uh, but it's, anyway, it's a 1080 HD camera, so when I do do my new gaming room or gaming studio video, as I'm now calling it, I call it my game studio because it sounds posh and pretentious. Uh, I'm going to go straight on and try and pick up that discovery point rather than go the way it wants me to go. Um, which means when I do the video, I'll be able to do it in 1080, so it'll be a nice high quality video. This is what I wanted to do. Is that a, that's another Renault over there, wasn't it? Oh shit, where am I going? Shit, I thought I'd gone the wrong way then. Don't you change on me, don't you change on me. At the end of the delivery, crash the Renault. Well, I could do, but it wouldn't really do very much. It just goes, you just, you just stop. You, you kind of hit the wall and instantly stop and nothing else interesting happens. I'm going to buy this, um, I'm going to buy this thing here. I'm just going to stop here. I hope this doesn't cock it up. Um, I'm going to detach the trailer and go and buy that thing. That way I can just reverse back out again quite easily. But I don't know if this is going to wreck the game in any way. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to save it. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, I'll just be wrong. But I think it'll be fine. Do you want to buy this? Yep. Yep, we know, we know. Go away. Cool. So that's... That'll let me fast track back, back to this town, which is kind of useful. I just hope it hasn't thrown my trailer away or done something really stupid. You never know with this game what it's going to do next. And I realise I've just blocked the entire road with my trailer. <laughs> Oopsie. Coming at the slightly wrong angle, but it's good enough. There we go. So, I saved it, just in case it crashed or did something stupid like got rid of my trailer. And I bought that little place there. Because you can fast track to your... your um, if you're in a truck, you can just tell it to fast track to here. Which can be handy, I've noticed sometimes. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. Shit! Thankfully. I managed to, there's a Majestic there, you see it. A blue Majestic. I reckon I could customise that. That's the sports trailer I've got. I don't know if you saw that or not. That's the sports trailer's um, mod pack. Which looks a lot better than the standard car transport, I have to say. Paul, can you please answer this, please? You can talk to STS guy on your stream with him about the damage thing. Yeah, uh, I don't think I've got a reply yet. But then again, he might only reply on Monday when it's a working day. So, if he does come on... If he says he's going to come on, then I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll put something on my Facebook page asking people to uh, give me some questions to ask him. So I've got plenty of stuff to ask him. Uh, it's going to be 8th gear. I forgot we're in the Renault. Um, if, he doesn't, if he doesn't come on stream, well, fair enough, but I think he's missing an opportunity for himself, to be honest. I'm hoping he'll come on and tell us about Coach Simulator. And maybe about World Truck Simulator and, you know, what his expectations are, what his plans are, when he's planning on doing things. Like if he came on and said, oh, I'm expecting to have World Truck Simulator out first part of 2014, I'd be thinking, awesome. <laughs> the Majestic is quite nice. Does it drive a lot like the uh, Man Truck? I suspect it does, because they're both uh, German, aren't they? Whoa, we're going a bit fast down here.
There aren't... No, there aren't any animals that can cross the street annoyingly. I mean, that is one of the things that I would like him to put in. Because it doesn't seem like a hard thing to put in. But I think the reason they probably don't put, you know, children crossing the road or animals crossing the road is because you would inevitably end up with videos of people just deliberately slaughtering animals and children in trucks, which would not make for good publicity. So I'm guessing that's why they don't do it. Because I don't know if you've ever remember a game called Carmageddon. I don't know if you, that was a controversial game in the 90s that came out. I think it was the 90s. And uh, it was about you in a fast car, essentially getting points for the more people you could slaughter. So if you did power slides into people, you got loads of points. So you'd end up with a similar thing, but truck Mageddon, I think. Daisy later. I don't know if we're playing Daisy. I think we're going to play. Look at this road. Holy crap. I think we're going to play uh, Payday later. That was the plan as of yesterday. And I've got some Payday beta keys to give away in my stream, so if we play Payday later. This is bouncy. If you play Payday Beta later, I'll be giving away some keys. Whoa, this is a twisty-ass road. Can you see the truck going up and down? It's really bumpy. Out of the trucks in the game, which are your favourites? Um, well, I've not tried actually driven all of them in anger. Like the DAF and the Majestic, I've not really driven in anger yet. But out of the ones I've driven, I would probably say... Scania, then Volvo, then Man would be my top three. But once I drive an Iveco properly, I'll be able to decide if that's, you know, if that's going to move up the list or not. And same with the Majestic. I'm not expect. Shit! You see how fast he went around that corner? I swear to God, he just left the ground. I swear he left the ground then. That was insane. <laughs> um, what was the saying? And I'm not expecting the DAF to be any good. Is it me or are they driving way too quickly down this road? There's no physical way they could stay on the track unless they're in a sports car. Uh, track IR is the... Um, I can't remember what the different models are. I think it's a Track IR 5 Pro, at a guess. Yeah, Track IR 5 with the Pro Clip, that's it. Because when you buy it, you get two different clips. Delivery from Denzi. Nice streaming. Greets from Holland, is that? Does that say Holland? I'm guessing that that's going to say Holland. Yay! Greets from Holland. Greets to you, sir. Thank you for your support. I don't have the speed limiter. I have the speed limiter turned off on the options. In 1.4, you can just turn the speed limiter off. You don't need it to get it as a mod anymore, which is really nice because it, you know, it just didn't make any sense to have to mod, mod what is effectively a true false setting. Toll booth. We got a toll booth. Oh, I keep hitting that rumble strip. Look at the speed that coach came up to that. He just came up and then hit the brakes. Well, that's the wrong gear, isn't it? Uh, that one. Toll paid. That's another thing, you should be able to smash through the tolls. <laughs> but if you hit those barriers, it's like you've hit an infinite wall of thickness. A wall of infinite thickness, basically. It'll just stop you every time, no matter what speed you're going, no matter how much weight you're carrying, you cannot defeat that barrier. What's been your favourite delivery in ETS so far? Without a doubt, the Biobab tree. So if you're new to my YouTube channel, you, you may not have seen my Volvo, the, the four-parter. Probably some of the funniest videos I think I've ever recorded. Uh, but that's the 48-ton Biobab tree. And uh, that was great fun to make because I really didn't know how it was going to turn out. I was recording it without knowing if I'd even finished the video. That's probably my favourite though, I think. You confused with the commenter's brow? I don't use miles in the career profile. Uh, 
Yes, if you look at the... Yeah, well this is the research profile, so I think I might have it on kilometres setting. But on my career mode, I think I have it on miles per hour setting. But it makes sense to have it on kilometres when you're driving around in countries where it's all kilometres. Because then you can just compare the two numbers quite easily and don't have to do any kind of mental jiggery-pokery. So many accidents in that video, yeah I'll say. Have you played Euro Truck Simulator 1? No, I didn't play that. I started off on 2. You keep messing up with the weight of the baobab tree. It was 50 to 55 tons. Was it? Was it 50 to 55? I can't remember. What? Is that coach doing? Oh, he's going up a slope. I thought he was crossing the road really slowly. Disaster video is great when the AI just crashed in front of your truck. Yep. That was a incredible disaster. Why we stopped here? I don't understand why the AI is giving way. This is a main road, and that's a slip road, so we have right away, surely. Look, I bet that car doesn't think so. Yeah, boy! Take some of that horn, yeah. So for some reason the AI thinks that that junction, they have right of way going the other way. Oh, look at the road ahead on the map. What the hell's all that about? Look at it. Can you see? We have to effectively go a few hundred meters in a straight line, but we have to go through this entire town. And looks like we're going around something, like a... Do you think that's a lake, maybe? Can you see the road? If we could just go straight on over there, that's where we want to be, but we can't go that way. Did you hear about the changes to War Thunder? It's pay to win now, and I don't throw the term like you're around. That's why I don't play it anymore. I've just... I kind of hope that they would stop making that game as a pay to win, but... Sadly, I don't think that's something they're going to do. That's why I don't play it. Okay, we're going to be here a while because the AI is doing one of its stupid things. You know what? I'm getting... I'm getting to the point where I'm just going to go around this thing. Could you show us the new map? Sure. There you go. So we are here. The port is there. And this is the new kind of section of the map here. Apologies for the whining noise, by the way. I haven't fixed it yet. And this is all of like North Africa with Cairo down there. And you've now got Spain here. And uh, Portugal. Just loads of stuff. And then up the top you've got... Uh, is that Denmark? You can actually go to Denmark now. So they've done a pretty decent job. The map's huge. I know, it's brilliant. I can. It's only ever going to get bigger, because if SCS don't make it bigger, then modders are going to make it bigger. You didn't hear a whining? Okay. Listen, I'm just going to go round. I've had enough. This is just the AI being stupid now. Occasionally does this. Come on, dude. Let me out. Thanks a lot, pal. Oh, Renault. Pull Look at this. Same grey-coloured Renault. It's like the Model T Ford, isn't it? Any colour you want, as long as it's black. With Renault, it's like every colour you want, as long as it's grey. I think they are working... I think I read somewhere that SCS are working on the AI. They're going to make it better. Desperately needs it. So we're almost at the port now. What is the best city to start in? If you're starting the game brand new, I would recommend that you start somewhere on the European mainland. Uh, preferably, I would say in Germany, because Germany's got 
a lot of destination points that are close by and when you're just starting out you can't take on the longer deliveries so you're better off I think you're better off somewhere around Germany area I mean I made a mistake of starting off on the south coast of the UK but it you know it really didn't benefit me in any way it actually made it worse <clears throat> What part of War Thunder is paid to win? I think Chrissy can explain that to you quite well, rather than me explaining it to you. But the whole levelling system. I mean, if you, if you actually played War Thunder a few months ago, you'll know what I mean. They really messed it up in one of the patches. Look at that house. What the hell is that on the side of that house? What on earth is all that? It's like a logo or something on the side of the house. Did you see it? There's a little fuel station here. I'm liking these little cottages and buildings. They're quite cool. Although the texture detail is very low res. Hotel. Don't need that. Is that steering wheel and gear stick made for this game? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Logitech have got a history of making steering wheels. This is one of the more premium steering wheels. But you'll notice how accurate it is. If you look at the if you look at the game, like the steering wheel in the game, and then look at the cam, you'll see as I turn left, it turns left exactly with it. It's so precise. What's going on here? Oh, it's just a straight junction. It looked really weird on the map. I wasn't sure what it was. Diggers, building a road. Nice. Or a bridge. Is that a bridge? Yep. Building a bridge. It's nice seeing little, little details like that. Little bits of construction going on. Is Norway coming? I don't know, actually. I don't know what they're doing about Norway. Whoa, suddenly turned into a dirt track. Look at this. And the estuary coming in there. Excellent. They've actually done a decent job sculpting this. What is that? Looks like a delivery point. It is as well. Loving it. Loving the scenery. Right, we're going to get the ferry then. Over to Italy. There's a discovery point here. Look, there's, there's a man dealer. There's actually a man truck dealer right next to the ferry. How bizarre. We're not allowed to change truck though. Not in mid-job anyway. <clears throat> We've not really given this Renault a fur go yet, to be honest. I mean, I can already tell you it's shit, but... We need to do a full journey with it. That's a uh, truck weighing area, though. Let's get on this bit. Go, park and brake on, neutral, engine off. Ooh. Right. Off to Ancona. Fourteen and a half hour travel time. Did you see that? Fourteen and a half hours travel time. It's now f five o'clock in the morning, which is brilliant because it means we're going to actually drive in the day as well. So we just went from here to here, and now we're going to go all the way through North Italy, up to Milan. Through Genoa, Nice, Montpellier, all the way through Barcelona, Valencia, and down to Mercia. It's a big journey, people. It's a big journey. So that classes as a sleep anyway. Let's get some lights on. <clears throat> it is a really long... Let me just have a drink. Just got some juice, just some uh, Ribena type stuff. It's thirsty work, this truck driving, you know. How about how can I get a steering wheel and gear stick? How can I get a steering wheel and gear stick? Um, buy one, like everybody else. <coughs> they fixed War Thunder. Really? What do you say, Chrissy? Have they fixed for War Thunder? 
I doubt they fixed War Thunder. I've not played APB Reloaded, no. Put your beacons on. Hang on. Are they on? Yeah, they're on. You see it? They're on now. We're not really pulling a heavy load, though, are we, to be fair? What does everybody else think? Should we actually have the beacons on? Does this load justify beacons? I'm convinced. I sent you a delivery and you haven't received it. Really? That never happens. I can't read a massive block of text like that. No, I didn't think I needed beacons to be honest. Let's turn them off. It's not like a heavy or overweight load, is it? It's a 9 ton uh, digger, I think it was. Why do you want me to use the beacon so much? If you think about it, right, ask yourself, would a real truck driver put the beacons on for this delivery? I don't think he would. It's not oversized, it's not overweight, there's nothing hazardous about it, it's just a standard sized trailer with a digger on the back. I don't think it justifies a, d a beacon. I am being real. Are there any real truckers in the house right now? If there are any real truckers, what would you do? And hello if you just joined the stream, by the way. Have we got any discoveries to make? Yes, we have. We've got one to the right. Wow, look at this industrial stuff here. Look how ro quiet the roads are at 5 o'clock in the morning. I wish you were always like this. I should get the Merc. I'll get the Merc if it comes up. If you... Um, if you've not read my chat rules today, then please do so, because even if you're a regular, I have changed the chat rules. And also, if you're new, you definitely need to read them. Scania! For the win. Um, the chat rules are very clear now on what counts as a timeout and what counts as a ban, so... Please familiarise familiarize yourself with the chat rules. I'd rather avoid any timeouts or bans and just keep the chat really pleasant. That's what I aim for. TSM 3.5 you can download. If you go to my YouTube channel now... You will see the last four videos that I put up this morning are the stream from yesterday. And in the video description of those videos are links to the 3.5 mod, which is a download from Modsaholic. Now, Modsaholic is a website that basically um, I've done a deal with. It's not, it doesn't involve money or anything like that. It's just a deal that I've done with them where I give, I, they upload the mods that I use and put them on their website and I link to them in my video descriptions and in return they promise not to put up any adverts or any download crap, they just let you download the mods straight away so TSM 3.5 was in a particularly nasty website and uh, now it's not, so th thanks to Modsaholic you don't have to go through that and while you're there, join the forum because Modsaholic is a great community Delivery from Rebel Taforged. Rebel Taforged? Is that some Star Wars thing? Big fan from Canada. Keep on trucking. <laughs> Thank you for your support, sir. Much appreciated. And greets to Canada. Um, um. Oh, another delivery from uh, Cuts2K9. I like eggs. <laughs> Do you... What was I going to say? I like eggs. Do you like eggs? I actually like eggs. I actually eat quite a few eggs, to be honest. In fact, it really pisses my wife off because I'm the only one in the house who knows how to make proper egg and soldiers. Yeah, as in do it properly so that the eggs are runny. And, uh, you know, you cut your toast into soldiers. That's egg and soldiers, in case you don't know what egg and soldiers is. Which would be a bit weird, but... Um, 
yeah, so you, the idea being you cut your toast into slices, which are like little soldiers, and then you take the top off the egg, and you dip the soldiers into the runny egg. But you have to cook it perfectly. It's very easy to overcook it and make it hard-boiled. And I'm the only one who knows how to do it in the house. <laughs> the other thing I like is I love hard-boiled eggs as well, so I have them sliced on toast with a little bit of salt on top. And I like omelette, and I like scrambled eggs, so... Ugh, let's get fixed here. Yeah, basically, I really like eggs, and I eat quite a few of them to answer your question. But thank you for your support. All you guys that have been um, sending in your deliveries, when we finish this delivery, I'll take a little break, and I'll uh, fill in your chat colour details. If you want to know how the chat colours work, if my mods could just quickly run the colour commands so explain it, because there are a lot of you guys, I think, are new to the stream. If you're wondering how the different colours work, uh, my mod can show you now. So you know what to what. That's the on-screen chat colour, by the way. That has nothing to do with your Twitch and your webpage, by the way. There you go. That's the on that's the, the chat colours there. Can you see it? Oh, this is a straight road, isn't it? Bloody hell. What's eggy bread? Um, basically, eggy bread is where you um, you get toast or bread. Either you can you can do eggy toast as well, and you kind of dip it in in uh, egg, and then you fry it so that it kind of comes out as egg fried on the outside of toast, and it's really rather nice. <laughs> 